Okay, so the I can for today is talking about place value. So go ahead and write down I can. I can recognize one place value represents 10 times or one tenth of its neighbor or neighbors. Okay, so before we go into the I can statement, let's go ahead and draw a quick little place value chart. So we have our ones, decimal, hundreds, thousands, tenths, hundredths, and thousands. So we can use that as a reference. So when you say times 10, you're increasing its value. When you say times 1 tenth, even though there's a multiplication symbol, you're actually saying decrease in its value because you're taking a part of when you multiply by a fraction less than 1 of your original number. The procedure behind that is if you multiply by 10, so you have your decimal here, you're going to move that decimal place over one place value to the right. If you multiply by one tenth, which is the same thing as saying divide by 10, you're going to take that place value and move it one place over, you've guessed it, to the left, because you're decreasing its place value. Let's put this into practice. Let's have our example A. What if we had the number 93 and we're multiplying that by 10? So first check out what you're doing. You're increasing its value 10 times. You're moving that decimal place over to the right one time because each place value is 10. So it's one time moved over. 93 times 10, 930 moving that place value over once, times 10. Let's try B. Same number, 93 times 1 tenth. Now again, before you start to solve it, think about that. You're multiplying it by 1 tenth. You're taking 1 tenth of 93. You're decreasing its value. The procedure is you take that decimal and move it to the left this time, just one place value, and you get 9 and 3 tenths. 9 and 3 tenths is 1 tenth of 93, decreasing its value. Last one, start with 93 again, but this time we're going to multiply by 1 thousandth. Now, each one we've done so far was moving it over one place value because it's either times 10 or divided by 10 or 1 tenth of. This time it's 1 thousandth. Well, we're in luck because the base 10 system is really cool, and each place value is times 10. The little trick is you check out the zeros and what you're multiplying by if it's a power of 10. And 1,000th has three zeros. You are decreasing its value, moving it to the left because it's a fraction, less than a whole, right? The power of 10, 1,000th. Take your decimal, you're moving it over one, two, three times. One, two, three. And there's no number at the end there. So just like we did at the beginning, you have to add in a zero to hold its place value. And your new number now is 93 thousandths. 93 thousandths is one thousandth of 93.